will see the transversal spatial. The transversal spatial is nothing but it is a fascia that which covers the anterolateral abdominal wall muscle. Anterolateral abdominal wall muscle. This will be the what anterolateral abdominal wall muscle. And uh, it covers the what that of the diaphragm. It covers the anterior aspect of that of the posterior abdominal wall. As well as it covers the water that of the lower anterolateral abdominal wall muscle of the water abdominal cavity, both in male and in female. So, when if this is the thing, the transversal fascia covers the skin, superficial fascia, two flaps of it. Then external obliquus abdominis and its aponeurosis, obliquus ABD, and the what internal obliquus abdominis, obliquus ABD, and two flaps of it, which will be going to form the anterior layer of rectus sheath and the posterior layer of rectus sheath, or rather the walls, transverse abdominis. And its aponeurosis it covers. So this is called as a transversal fascia. Now this transversal fascia it will be there here. Then it will be there at just it will be there at the water the surface of right and the left dome of the diaphragms. Then it covers the posterior anterior aspect of the posterior abdominal wall. But it is attached to the water that of the transverse process of the water that of the lumbar vertebrae. One is at the front, one is at the tip, and one is at the back. And then it will be going to run laterally to cover the water that of the you can say sauce major, then the quadratus lumborum, then the transverse abdominis, then its aponeurosis, then Further, this transversal fascia only, this one, here, it will be going to run straightway downwards, where it will be going to come to the water that of the pre-renal fascia, renal fascia, then aortic fascia, pre-aortic fascia, vertebral fascia, pre-vertebral fascia, then it will be going to run forwards and towards medially to cover the water on the midline and then it runs you can say fall downwards little laterally then from the water after forming the vertebral fascia, pre-vertebral fascia, renal fascia, pre-renal fascia it will be going to run further downwards and towards laterally where it will be going to dips into the water that of the pelvic cavity on either side, right, left, where it will be reaching to the water that of the fascia iliaca from posteriorly. From anteriorly, it will be the transversal fascia runs downwards and towards the laterally, very, very close to the water back portion of the inguinal ligament. While from behind, the fascia iliaca comes and seems to join and run, runs behind the inguinal ligament, forming as the water that of the femoral sheath. So, this will be the thing how it is. But why the water that of the transversal fascia it dips into the water pelvic cavity, dips into the pelvic cavity after covering the water that of the brim of the pelvis, it will be going to become as a water pelvic fascia which will be covering the water superior part of that of the pelvic diaphragm known as a water so pelvic fascia or superior layer of the water pelvic diaphragm. So this is what is said to be as about transversal fascia. Transversal fascia of the abdomen has got four portions. One is the diaphragmic fascia. Second will be the water transversal fascia. Third will be the water renal fascia. 
So these are the different names for the what transverse edges ratio wherever it traverses, wherever it traverses. So this is also the deficiency. I mean to say transverse edges ratio wherever it traverses. So this is what is about the transversalis.